What's up, everybody? Uh, before I play this interview, I want to thank Scott Shelby for letting us bullshit with him. And also let you guys know that Google Hangouts really shit the bed and none of Scott's video feed came through. So I found some uh, live footage of him jamming out. I'm going to play that in place of, you know, where he would be. Also, uh, the links for the song that's in here is going to be in the description. Also, the link for the Blood Moon video shot by Mike Holderbeast is going to be in the description. Along with all War Beast contact info. That's about it. Enjoy. It was called Texas Metal Alliance, and it was a benefit for uh, uh, Wayne Abney from NOLA that played in Hammerwich. And so we just formed this band out of different, you know, local groups, you know, like Rigor Mortis, Gamicide, Rotting Corpse, Hammerwitch, and, and uh, I called it Texas Metal Alliance. And then it went so good, you know, six months down the road, we did another gig, and then we said, well, well we ought to make this a band, you know. And uh, next thing you know, we I found Blue, and uh, we formed it and called it War Beast. So October 21st would be 10 years from that actual date that we uh, – accidentally formed. Usually how that goes, uh, the majority of it, I, I sit at my house and I come up with ideas. Uh, this band works best when ideas are brought to the table. Mm -hmm. We don't, we rarely write, you know, when everybody's in the room on, on just spur of the moment. It's usually I bring an idea and I'll throw it, I'll toss some riffs to the guys and we'll talk about it and either they like them or they don't, or if they don't like it and I really believe in it, then we do it anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's not, you know, I usually bring a blueprint. Uh, that's how I like to write is, is, you know, bring a little blueprint. So we're not all in the fog because there is a little smoking and drinking going on sometimes, you know, like, oh yeah, like I see you doing right there. Like right now, buddy. Oh, well, I'm usually the first one in there because I always get up early and, uh, you know, I get started early so I can drink at night, you know, so I start here today. You, you sound like me, brother. You know, uh, I get started and then Philip or Mosey in there, you know, later in the afternoon and uh, start, you know, putting his two cents in, so... When I get away with a couple of songs before he gets in there, then that's how they come out. But then he'll come in there and, oh, oh, dude, we got to <laughs> change this back. Uh, dude, uh, uh, and, you know, <laughs> it, it's all good. You know, before the night, the day's over, we're all, you know, drinking vodka and whiskey and beers and, you know, and having a good time, you know, at his house. Oh. You know, it's always uh, good food and good friends, you know. Yeah, man, we just uh, finished up a pre-production demo, you know, to kind of, you know, lay the bases down before we go to Phil's house and record, you know, so we're not, you know, fucking up right yeah. there. We fucked up already here. But no, the new <laughs> demo, man, it's it's sounding cool. I'm at the uh, pre-production engineer's house fixing to pick up the new mix. Actually haven't heard it just yet, but... Uh, I'm sure as soon as we get off this interview, I'll be hearing it, but I know it's, it's sounding killer, man. The new tracks are good. You know, some are a little bit what you expect. Some are a little bit what you would not expect. Yeah, we'll go in there in about a month. I just nice. uh, shot Philip an email today because it's his birthday. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've seen that. Yeah, we always uh, – my birthday's like in a week, so we always, you know, talk to each other on our birthdays, but – you know, I was telling him, uh, we'll be sending the demo tonight. Uh, actually, it's probably on its way to his email right now. So that's his gift. Nice. <laughs> he was, you know, he was wanting to hear the song so he can start wrapping his head around it, you know. Because we go down there and, uh, you know, sometimes he uh, sees outside the box of what I've been writing. And uh, 
you know. So he'll he'll be wrapping his head around it and see what happens. I'm anxious to hear his response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's him. And as far as this uh, war beast goes, you know, he's that he's that outside the box guy. You know, when we go there, because we all you know sitting here riding and you know all in our own minds, and he kind of sometimes tweaks things a little bit, and usually it's for the better, you know. No, it's because nobody else would sign us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you know, we, you know, like I said, we were we were texting metal lines, so we said, well, let's make a let's make a demo. We got, you know, four or five originals. We went and made a demo, and uh, we hadn't even thought about shopping it. And Rigor Mortis was doing a show with Ars and Anthem, and Bruce handed Philip the. Uh, demo and he happened to have house core records going and, and uh he he liked some of the, he liked the material and he said well fuck let's do a record and, and basically that's how it happened fucking a man that's awesome yeah. hell yeah man and i don't know where else we would have went you know nuclear blast or whatever none of those they never signed texas bands all those standard you know record labels you know you never see anybody out of texas on them hardly It's it's a lot of family with us, you know. We've been knowing Philip for a long time, and and uh, you know, we're all kind of family down here in Texas and NOLA. We've been related for many years, you know. Back in the day, I used to play in Gamma Side, used to jam with Exhorter, and uh, you know, Philip came down here and joined Pantera. So it's it's a long, long uh, family relationship we've had. So works out pretty good. <laughs> Man, you know, Kiss, uh, way back in the day, because I'm a little old, I, I started playing guitar because of Gene Simmons, you know, and then I found out, you know, he doesn't even play guitar. He just looked cool and split blood. You know? <laughs> I, knew, I knew you were going to say Kiss. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, you know, and then it, it just kind of evolved with the times, you know, that, that phase ran out. And then I started, you know, uh, listening to Van Halen and ACDC, Judas Priest, you know, right Scorpions, on. and then, uh, you know, that evolved into uh, the beginning of thrash, you know, the Iron Maiden, the, the Metallica Slayer, you know, SOD. And that's like where I really, you know, found my glitch, you know, was uh, the golden era of thrash. And that, I was glad to, to uh, you know, grown up and, and witnessed all that, you know, creator destruction, all the German thrash oh. and all the American thrash that was happening. And that's where I really started, you know, finding my roots because I really wasn't into the old, you know, classic rock, you know, style of playing. I'm more of the beasts. So it's fitting for me. And, and um, you know, I just took off and started doing my own style that, you know, I kind of learned off every, all those bands that I've named from the get go. And uh, that's what I do. Mike Holderbeach, yeah. Oh, yeah, man, that, that dude's – I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah. That dude's a we fucking in a bad ass, makeup man. artist and, you know, some big titty chicks and blood. Yeah, I was watching. Yeah. <laughs> nice titty <laughs> chicks in there, man. <laughs> That's what gets the fucking views right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he does a lot of bands, a lot of housecore, but he does some – I think some High on Fire. And, uh, oh, right on. Of course, all the Noah stuff, you know, Crowbar, uh, Goat Whore, I'm sure, you know, I Hate God, War Beast, No Telling, Down. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Holy Beast is good, man. He's, he's done a couple of videos for us, some live stuff, and uh, he does a lot of the house core, some of the recent Down videos, uh, all kind of stuff. He's a good dude. I stretch the bar as far as you can, the tremolo. And uh, influences like in the rhythms, like you know, like James Hetfield, precise picking and some German style cording, and mm. I just kind of mix American and German, and that's became Blood Moon. Yeah. Now I do it yeah, 
Yeah, man. There's a. Uh, oh, fuck. Ryan. He's uh, Yo. <laughs> doing the mix. We're in his house. Got some guitars, some drums, you know. He's got nice. a nice little indoor studio. And, uh, man, he kicked ass on this demo. I haven't even heard the final mix. Uh, I will be after this interview's over, but, man, I'm, I've heard some pre-mixes, and it's going to be good. And, and, you know, I was a little unsure about this record because we've had some member changes and things, you know, up and down, you know, the past couple of years. But now that we put it all together and I'm starting to hear, I'm like, this record is going to be sick. It's really going to be sick. I mean, oh, I can't wait to hear it. One thing I like about Warbeast Records is we try to have a little variety in the songs. You know, a little, not every song is this straightforward. And this one, it's got some variety. I was going to mention, we have the slowest Warbeast rip to date. Uh-oh. <laughs> we don't play slow much, but I told some of the new guys, I go, well, you want to write this part? You want to do my typical, you know, beginning intro, mosh part, lead, blah, blah, you know. And they go, no, we want to go slow. And I said, okay, this is the all-time heaviest rift of 2016. So okay. we'll, well, I would expect uh, this record comes out. We definitely got a tour. We got to get out and promote. So I'm thinking uh, 2017 winter tour. Right on. I would shoot. It, it'd be cool to jam with any of your idols, you know. I think me and Kerry King could sit down and battle, you know, throw out some chops. That would be that would be fun, you know, to write with some player, you know. Yeah, who knows? Oh hell! I grew up with him. Yeah. You did nice, man. I mean. I mean, I've been known him since uh, I was like 14. Oh, wow. I saw him play at a YMCA. And then, uh, you know, these little places around Arlington, YMCA's uh, Six Flags Amusement Park. Oh, know, shit. Uh, when it was the original Pantera, you know. With Terry uh, Glaze. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, cool, I, man. I've probably seen more Terry Glaze gigs than I've seen Phil and Simo gigs. Oh, wow. See, because that was a, you know, when we were young, you know, that they were like, you know, the shit around here, you know, and uh, so yeah, I mean, Don, we partied, you know, for many years, played a lot of practical jokes on each other. That's fine. Whenever we're hanging out, somebody, one of one of the two is going to get it. I mean, and you know, hung out with Vinnie Paul's, you know, it's all family, like I said, you know. Can you shit, tell us a crazy drinking story with Dime? Probably a shit ton, man. Yeah, yeah. We uh, we at this club and we all got up on stage and uh, blew fire together. And, nice. Uh, I believe it's on one of their home videos. Uh, we got crazy. They locked the door, and we had these oh, chicks shit. on the bar, and we got some whiskey bottles, and we're you know penetrating their nice. spot with these empty bottles. <laughs> and, you know, it was fucking right. crazy and blowing fire. And uh, I think there's one scene on one of the, the home videos, and it's got me with this, you know, ripping some chicks. I don't know. Sure. I, but a lot of crazy stories. Nice. Uh, yeah. I just. Uh, he, uh, I was wasted. I don't know. Some New Year's Eve party or something. And uh, Vinnie Paul's got this, you know, long driveway, and I'd have my pickup truck up there and. I'm like, man, I'm fucking out of here. And Dom's like, dude, I'll back it up for you, you know, man. I got this. So just walk on down there. And so I, I start walking down the hill, and I'm thinking, no, oh, shit. And I look up there, and he's in my truck, just fucking white smoking the tires. Like fucking, <laughs> nice. you know. I look up there, and it's just like smoke all in there. And he's just, Wah! and I'm like, fuck. He got me again. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Next time we uh, are at the same venue, especially if we're both playing on the same stage, you will see the Beast versus Mike DeLeon. <laughs> and it will be all over the place. <laughs> That's awesome. 
I mean, I'm sure you've seen some of the beasts fighting Philip and Selma. We've done it like all over the world before. You know, at certain times, uh, certain things are the best, and then something else comes along. And I just like to keep evolving, you know. And you always revert back to some of the stuff that you grew up on or something. One of those records that was the best back then. But I still like to, you know, evolve, you know. I like, you know, new bands coming out. Like, lately I've just been on a Soulfly trip, you know, put it on Soulfly. Fucking right, right on man. I love fucking Soulfly, you know. I mean, uh, I just like to keep the, the door, you know, t- the turntable spinning. Because I like yeah. it all, you know. So I, That's I cool to hear you say Soulfly, actually. I, I never could say my favorite guitars or my favorite record because I like it all, you know. Uh, of course, I could win all the time, but, you know, he's Phillips, so I got to let him win. I, I gotta yeah, use of course. Him. The crowd's <laughs> cheering for him. They're booing me. I'm the hero. <laughs> He's a baby face. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there was all kinds of little setbacks, you know. I had a, some personal life things going on that, you know, weren't real pleasing. But, hey, 2016, we're all back in shape. And, uh, and uh, I said, man, you know, when we start, when this year started, I said, I got to do it, you know. I got to nail down and start writing songs. And once I started doing it and we got with the guys, it just, it's been flowing and we got a record now. Well, uh, Italy was pretty crazy. We were playing with Down there. Ooh, nice. And, uh, there is mafia outside selling T-shirts, bootleg shirts, and you oh, can't shit. stop them. And the, the toilets at the facilities are a little bit odd there. But the crowd was frenzy, and I, I believe me, me and Philip got in a fight there after the show, and, <laughs> and they, they nice. just loved that. We actually did a... Uh, in Germany on Halloween, uh, on Hall- Hallow's Eve, we did a show and we all like, you know, dressed up in makeup and stuff. And Philip and I had a super wrestling match. We said, I'm going to break out the fake blood, you know, and we we're actually going to get razor blades and cut our forehead, but oh, I shit. found some fake blood. <laughs> and, you know, so we started, you know, squirting blood and, you know, doing flips and they had, you know, good wrestling stuff. But it's always, uh, it's crazy anywhere. It really doesn't matter where you're at. It just depends on how much whiskey you drink. Well, uh, I've played all three of them. And they've yeah. All, they've all three, you know, the first one, you're just like, wow, this is kind of new. And, you know, I wonder if this is going to work. If this is a one-time event. And it was really cool. I mean, you know, great, unusual type of lineup. And then uh, we did a second one, and and it was awesome. And then of course, uh, happened again. But then, then they put it, put it together last year in San Antonio, and it was an, an incredible lineup. We played with uh, we played with uh, King Diamond and Exodus, and I don't even and Superjoint, War Beast, all on the same night. And it was it was sick. Also, King played Diamond set this. for that one looked amazing, man. Yeah. I also played bass with this band called Thor. From oh, Dave was that the one with, uh, uh, what's his name, the comedian? Yeah, with Dave Hill. Yeah, I seen and that. Man, <laughs> that set was fucking sick, dude. It Wasn't was, Jimmy yeah, playing drums? Uh, it was Jimmy Bauer and Blue. Okay. Sharon. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> exactly. It was, you know, it was really fun, you know. We, so we, hopefully next year we'll be back and around, you know. It's it's a neat it's a unique event to uh, come to for sure. Good thing. I mainly want to say, man, the new record's gonna be coming out. It's gonna be badass, and uh, I'm excited to get to listen to the mixes here in a minute. And uh, definitely like to do another interview after we do the record.
I can give awesome, you a report on yeah, how the man. corn did, you know, and uh, maybe get uh, – I imagine it will come out probably January 2017, knowing how, you know, by the time we record, you get everything. It's usually six months down the road. So, right on. Yeah. So that's the big news. Coming out of Beast, coming out of DFW. Oh, fuck yeah. Fucking right, man.